Good evening, everyone. This is Tic Tac. With a heavy heart, I bring to you the news about the meteor that has decimated entire regions of our great land. With thousands dead and even more injured, the meteor impact has done an incomprehensible amount of damage to our great game. We will be bringing you up to the minute details about what to buy, what to play, and what is worth spending your precious EXP on. Stay strong out there, and keep fighting. This week's event store and weekly items aren't very good. Uh, I would not suggest getting many of these things, but we'll go over them one by one. Uh, first, we have the Copper Armageddon, which is a energy-based axe. Could be good. Swords are better. Uh, if you want to get it for just fun, go ahead. Feel free. Sergeant Jonesy, very good character. One of the better support stats in the game. Uh, if you don't have him, I would suggest picking him up, but only run him with an assault rifle that has over 50%, or like 40 to 50% crit chance. The Cozy Campfire is good. I would suggest picking it up and leveling it when you have a chance. It comes in really handy in a pinch. I would suggest getting it. It can be good. The Shotgun Defender, save your gold. You don't need defenders as of yet until another event comes out where they actually become useful like Horde Bash. Uh, you can hold off and buy other things with your precious, precious seasonal gold. Over on the first page of the weekly items, uh, you have a Zapatron. Stay away from this item. It's terrible. It doesn't do enough damage. It's just not a good item. Stay away from it. You don't need it. Save your gold. I don't care whatever rolls you get on it. It's just not good. The Epic Survivor, I would absolutely pick up if you need him. A lot of his stuff is if you need basis. Uh, if you need another survivor, always pick up the survivors. There's a legendary one in the event store, and there's always one or two, or they're spread out in the weekly store. I would suggest picking them up. The Rare Sword and the Uncommon Sergeant Jonesy, skip them, absolutely skip them, they are useless, don't pick them up. Legendaries and Epics are a lot more readily available, which you can pick up during missions or event store items or the Llamas or anything you want to get. There are better characters, do not pick these up, skip them. All of the evolution materials, the rain, the lightning, the eyes of the storm, the storm shards, and the legendary flux, and maybe even the epic flux, again, like every video, it's going to be a need basis. I would always pick them up because they're just worth having on hand, but you don't need them if you are saving for something in particular. Now, the items that you can get with your daily tokens are a little up in the air. The wall spikes, I would pass on. I wouldn't get these. They're too situational you have to put them on front walls and there's better items to use such as wall dynamos or pushers or anything like that they're fun late game to watch a smasher one shot himself but in the early game and for newcomers and beginners i would pass these and save your tokens for something else the death ray however it can be a very good item it has base energy damage so again if you get lucky enough and it rolls another ele element you get 117% extra damage on the weak husk you're fighting. So if it's fire and energy going against a nature husk, you'll get 117% extra damage. Can be very good. You need particular rolls on this gun. You need crit chance, crit damage, and the double element roll to make it worthwhile. But if you have some extra tokens and you want to check it out and you need a decent assault rifle, if it rolls well, it can be very good. The Falcon, I would pass on. You need a Ranger Deadeye to actually use pistols efficiently in this game. The Mythic Hero does get a small bonus to pistol stuff, I guess you could say, but it's you'll still be doing a lot more damage with uh, an assault rifle, even on the new uh, pseudo mythic. mythic. Uh, the Raven is the new pseudo mythic character. He's a little different. He's, we're going to get into him later on in the video, uh, along with all the new characters and all the new weapons. That's what this update's going to be. It's going to be a little longer because of this, but the new character, he's okay. If you have the gold or if you're a collector, absolutely pick him up. He's not bad. He's like a Jonesy on steroids with lingering pain and kneecapper are some of his uh, perks. He can be a very high burst single target damage character. Uh, he's kind of like a Jonesy, a regular Jonesy on steroids pick him up if you can i suggest him he's fun to play just a little wonky the armory slots especially with a lot of the people got llamas on this update because uh, they changed the price we'll get into that um i would get this 100 percent and the legendary survivor always a plus pick that up too now a quick word from our sponsors
And we're back. Running short on time, we're gonna have to do this real quick. With the new event in Season 4, they gave us four new weapons. The first one being the crossbow. This is a hard pass. Do not level this up. Do not spend any XP on this. It is useless in every single scenario I put it in. Do not use this weapon. Second up, we have the SMG. Not the best weapon in the game. Decent damage, short reload, not the best range, but it's fun. If you have one, it shoots fine. It feels great. I would level it up. Third, we have the new silenced pistol. This and the SMG also have the unique mechanic of not alerting sleeping enemies when you attack them. I would highly suggest leveling up the pistol. Currently, it's very good, especially if you have a Ranger Deadeye Outlander. It can do a ton of damage, hitting for almost 70,000 on headshots. Lastly, we have the new shotgun. This is in the air for me. You can either get it and level it up, or pass. If you're playing the Raider Shotgun Hero, it can be decent. It actually has a faster fire rate than a Tiger Jaw, which I didn't expect, but the reload speed is almost half as long. It's up in the air for me. If you don't have a Tiger Jaw or Room Sweeper, this is a good replacement. The Bald Eagle deserves a special mention here. It is basically like the Desert Eagle from Battle Royale. However, it hits a lot harder. Uh, I have one shot many enemies with this gun even without an element on it the highest i've seen it go is 289,000 damage it's not viable in most scenarios it's it just shoots way too slow to be super viable it doesn't have piercing shots but it's a hell of a lot of fun to use um if you have extra experience and you know points and stuff i would suggest getting this as it is just fun now on to the heroes this event brought us four new heroes five if you count the mythic raven and they're all okay. First, we're going to take a look at Double Agent Evelyn and the other male uh, variant. Double Agent is very similar to the Mythic with righty and lefty. It's a new ability. It's basically like going commando, but with two dual pistols. It's good. It also has an explosive round on every couple shots where it de does somewhat decent AoE damage, but on a two minute, 30 second cooldown, it's uh, very situational. She also has Cluster Bomb and Shockwave, which kind of makes her a little better than the Mythic, in my opinion. She has a lot more AoE damage than he does because of Shockwave and Cluster Bomb, but she loses out on Lingering Pain, which makes her damage uh, more average than it possibly can be. Uh, she's decent if you don't have a good soldier to use. She's comparable to the uh, Special Forces Jonesy. Pretty decent, not the best. Next, we have Demolitionist Penny. This is probably my favorite character out of the uh, whole Season 4 character heroes we get. She has really cool abilities where she's on her base, she loses less durability on explosives, she has critical hit chance on her hammers while standing on her base, and also increased reload speed on rocket launchers and grenade launchers while standing on her base. So you put down your base and you spam rockets, it can be a lot of fun. This character, if you have the extra experience or you want to play a niche character, this is definitely one I would look into. Piercing Lotus Edge was our spear ninja and he's terrible. He's the worst addition to the game in a while. Uh, his ninja stars, they come out in a cone of five every like eight seconds. They don't do enough damage. They don't hit enough targets. They get body blocked by tunnels and all this stuff, not good. He does not have Dragon Slash. His damage is not high enough to be consistent with any sword reliant ninja. If you want to play a melee ninja, play Scythe Sarah or Brawler Luna or Deadly Blade. All of them insanely out damage them, plus they have Dragon Slash. This guy is a hard, hard pass. Do not level him up. He's not worth it, I promise you. Shotgunner Grizzly is my new favorite character, if he worked. Currently, he is bugged. He, for some reason, makes all the enemies at large numbers lag really badly around him. It's on Reddit. Epic knows. They're going to fix it. But, man, is he fun. The fact that his phase shift stuns enemies, even a charging smasher, is not to be underestimated. If a smasher is charging at your base and you phase shift through him, you will stun him. And he gets plus 24% damage to stun targets. That can really increase your damage with the shotgun. He has increased rate of fire on shotgun, so even something slow like the bear becomes a lot better. And the last shotgun, the energy one from the old event last week, is especially devastating on him. But lastly, he also, when he gets a kill after a phase shift, he gets his phase shift charge back. 
it's amazing. He's a lot of fun to play. I can't wait till he fixes him. This is the guy, if you're looking for a new character and you're looking for a damage outlander besides Ranger Deadeye, this is the guy I would go. And lastly, we have Raven. Raven is a soldier with probably the highest single target burst damage in the game. He has Lingering Pain, Debilitating Shots, and Kneecapper, plus Warcry, plus a minigun variant with the dual pistols. Every 2 minutes and 30 seconds, this guy does work. He's good for a new, new gamer, he's new for a beginner, he's good for late game, he is a decent all-around character. Not my style, he does not have Shockwave, and later on in the game, when you get surrounded by enemies, you die. So, me personally, I like the legendary double agent better than the mythic, but he's fun, he's unique, he's got a new ability. Spend the gold, get him, he's part of a collection item, I mean, he's not in the collection book, but, you know, if you're a collector, he's definitely on the list, he's not going to be around long. Let's talk about the real hero of 4.0. This turret used to be, this turret you used to pass up. I personally, at level 102, didn't even have any points into it until this patch came out. Then all of a sudden, things changed. This turret is now the go-to gadget. It decimates every and anything you put in front of it, up to 118 player level enemies. It is monstrous. It is so good, I would highly suggest anybody picking it up. Secondly, they changed the teleporter to be a little better. I personally still don't have this skill. Uh, I wish I did, just to test some stuff, but I don't. And I haven't really found many people that do. It's still very niche. However, they did change it, so the main use I have seen for it is you put one end on the side of a tunnel, you put another end on the front side of the tunnel, and you launch your rockets in between the two teleporting things, because that's what you can do now. You can transfer from point A to point B uh, friendly projectiles. It's decimating, but then you have to be careful about propanes and blowing up your tunnel. It's just too niche for this game, who just loves throwing in niche characters. And lastly, they threw in caches. Now, what caches are, are things you found around the map that contain either schematics and or evolution materials. I found two legendary schematics so far and a bunch of evolution materials. It's a huge bonus to the game where you can actually find things and level them up. Last year, this was in my original review of the game, how they needed to have something rewarding for killing harder enemies. And they finally brought it in. It's a great change. However, if you're getting these caches from storm chests, they do not currently give you anything. The only way to actually get these are for mini boss kills, tier 4 and tier 6 chests. For the good ones. For at least the legendary ones, those are the only ones that you can possibly get them from. And that is your weekly update storm report. That's everything you need to know about the new and updated event store, heroes, and weapons, the gadgets. We covered everything I could possibly think of. We may have left some stuff out, but it will come with the territory. This video is way longer than I want to go on it, but it, again, it was a huge update. So many things changed, so many things to address. If you want to see me go into more detail about a certain thing, let me know down in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, if you want to join the Discord of almost a thousand members, feel free to click the link below in the description to Tic Tac's trading post. Great community, greatest community. Uh, thank you guys for all the support and love. Till next time, till next week, Tic Tac out.